Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Europa Universalis for Common Sense Austrian Diplomacy. Let's hop back into it, shall we? In the last episode, we ended off with um, basically declaring war on Naples and the Great Britannia. And in this episode, I'm basically, sorry if you hear stuff moving in the background, and wow, we lost another fucking naval battle. That's fucking brilliant. Because these naval boats just keep going and destroying themselves, so that's perfect. Um, I'm just basically waiting for sieges now, and I'm also waiting to core. Actually, you already finished core it, so I can peace out Naples. Thank you, your money, all of it, all of it, all of it, all of it, all of it. Not the fucking cook forever. Thank you. And now I am going to increase autonomy because I can't be arsed to deal with that. That revolt risk, increase autonomy here, and then we're going to core the land that we have enough points to core with. Simply. Now we're going to go back up here and just wait for this stuff to siege down, of course, um, which is probably going to take fucking centuries because that's how stuff works here. <laughs> It's not that I, I joke when I say stuff like this. I don't actually mean it in a mean way towards Paradox. I really do like Paradox's games and that type of stuff. Anyway, let me unpause. Okay. Then, okay, we got something on. Got something that see. Not see. We won that battle. I'm sorry. Um. Okay, unpause. Sorry about the yet. We court another province, awesome. Let's core another one. Not core, convert. Always say core. We converted one province, let's convert another. Okay, we got 7% siege progress. We can finish this much quicker, hopefully. Or the siege, that is, not the episode. <laughs> I think this is gonna be the last episode because we're like at 1817. And um, just for the fact that uh, it's 1817, that means we have like four more years? Okay, we finally got the siege. Let me, sorry, I hit the mic there a bit. Pause, move you, nope. Put that army there, put this army there, put this army there. Um, pause, wait until the Navy gets into position. And then I can uh, do that. And then transport my army over. Then wait. Then move this army here to there. And then move this army up north. Right? Good. Very nice. Now you have to really the only reason I'm not piecing them out, because I'm pretty sure at this point I could get anything that I want, is that I really need to wait until I core my other stuff, which will take until Actually I may not even be able to Yeah, some of this stuff will be finished in 1817. So eh. It may, it's gonna take a while. You can uh, say it's gonna take a while. Let me unpause anyway so we can start to get these sieges uh, going. Okay, a fucking revolt just happened. That's awesome. That's perfect. I wish it really gave pop ups for pop ups that weren't like mine because I don't fucking know if they pop up or not. <laughs> and it would help if there was a fucking pop up. So, yes, this is my opinion of it. <laughs> Of it, on it, all these words work to describe how I feel about it. Okay. Um, got that siege. Sorry, I left that pop up there for too long. Uh, we have twenty k, so I can build the 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 Suez Canal, but like, there's fucking four years left, and <laughs> not four. Three years left in the game, so I don't really have time to build the Suez Canal, which kind of sucks. Really, I don't even think I have enough time to take much land. I think I would have had to wait the. Ma even if I waited for tech, now that I think about it in hindsight, I would only have a year to declare wars or to fight wars, which is definitely not enough for wars and that type of thing. I can convert into the province when this is done. I'm pretty sure. There you go. Very nice. 
we have uprising revolt re reform doesn't really matter we should be very nice and good anyway whoops i'm blocking the siege progress god damn it really hope the siege gets done very very quickly very quickly oh gosh in new way we're at 21 percent really this is legit maybe the last siege we ever do in this game <laughs> which i mean or in this in this campaign not this game hopefully i play much more campaigns of this and when eu5 comes out if, if they ever do an eu5 i will be uh I'll be playing that too um okay we conquer the wasals probably should cross into great britain i forgot about i should probably siege the uh other province <laughs> or the other fort that they have so i'm sending troops over that should be nice um fucking finally get into province the core convert to something let me pause convert another thing we can core something else but this is gonna take until 1820 so really i can't take much in this war um 1820 i can um how much how much is your overextension? It's only 21. I'm gonna wait until 1820 and then just eat the rest of the Commonwealth because I simply only have three years and uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to core enough stuff to lower down my overextension so that I can uh, take land from Great Britain, which kind of sucks, but hey, what can you do, right? Well, I could have probably not taking a lot of land but like who does not take that much land come on now come on now so i'm probably gonna just piece out great brain here take a ton of their money okay they didn't have that much make them really scotland and just no, i'm not gonna do that to my old buddy great britain humiliate and money really and that's good enough for me I want these two to get on the boats. I want you to get there. You to also get there. Or to go there. Gotta speak some proper English. Z proper English. This navy needs to drop them off over here. Great Britain is no longer a valid rival, of course, because I just humiliated them. Not surprising <laughs> that they're no longer a valid rival. But wow, the armies actually got there before the navy got to to the equal location my king died okay send this man over man, my king actually died I'm glad that we are finally able to get the 444 near the end of the fucking game we're entering the last year of the not the game the campaign which is fucking awesome but hey beggars can't be choosers <sighs> the beggars can't be the choosers okay send you to Holland and convert another province okay send you over and this is the the last year of eu not last year of eu4 eu4 will be forever anyway this is the last year of this campaign it's really sad it makes me really sad um and And this is what well I'm gonna I usually talk about what we were able to do by the in the end of the episode so or at the end of the when we get to like I think it's like the first of January or some shit like that um, the money okay I can finally piece you out could do this piece deal now I won't be able to core all of this of course but uh, we have the land which is what it counts what counts the most i guess words english i'm gonna increase autonomy because i can't be honest to deal with any revolts um i just don't want to deal with them to be honest um so we have a lot of revolt risk how can i not in whatever I'm gonna increase it in most places Okay, that's good. 
well, I said I was gonna increase it where everywhere I had a revolt risk, but uh, doesn't look like that's gonna happen. Well, does it? Um. <clears throat> Okay, finally converted. Let's see how many provinces we can convert at the end of the game. Converted a, quite a lot. A lot of this is finally able to make it to Catholicism. Quite a bit. Which is very good and nice. Very good and very uh, nice. Anyway. I gotta remember to hit pause when the auto save thing comes up so I can pause it and talk about the campaign at the end of the ep. So, uh, this is good news. Uh, can I don't even know why I would use my points to start coring stuff because it's not gonna finish in time, which kind of makes me sad. Uh, hey, hey, why not? It's the end of the game. Uh, this campaign, I keep saying the game, or I mean the campaign, sorry. Uh, pause, okay. Now, let's talk. But what we were able to do. So we started as Austria. Of course, the name of the campaign is Austrian Diplomacy. We were able to, you know, from here, I think I'm pretty sure we didn't. We got a PU over Hungary, but not Bohemia. And at the time, the aggressive expansion system was much harsher, so I didn't. When I was able to go to war and force them to be a PU, and I saw how much the aggressive expansion was, I didn't do that. But I ate them progressively and we're able to get to this which is very nice several wars with the ottomans we we're able to beat the commonwealth beat the, all of the commonwealth at some point we we're able to form the holy roman, holy roman empire which is very nice and we we'll just do several of these because we have points to do so and uh i think i did good like look at the catholic map mode i was able to just reverse the Protestant Reformation got rid of the Protestant sites, even though the Protestant, I didn't really reverse it, but I just got rid of Protestantism in the Central Europe where the Holy Roman Empire was. I was able to do that. Be able to get it, I was able to get enough Imperial authority to form the Holy Roman Empire to, you know, get to the Vassal Swarm and then form the Holy Roman Empire, which was very nice. And I really enjoyed this campaign. And, um, to look at the ledger. So for armies, of course, we have the largest army at 1,280,000 troops. We had 1,222,054 million men. Boats-wise, we had uh, the largest navy by just like five boats, 210 boats. Um, our country wise we had well, income we had the most income at 905 ducats treasury largest treasury 20,285 ducats we had 9,342 not wow wow fucking yeah 9,000 we had 9,342 development um we didn't get to our full technology of course kind of sucks but oh well uh, anything else? Stability, one stability, prestige, uh, religion. Uh, we had 1,429 provinces uh, that are Catholic. Not that surprising. That usually what happens. 42 countries that are of that religion. Um, uh, what else is here? Holy Roman emperors. So all of them were Austrian. Von Habsburgs. And you will always be von Habsburgs, and I think this was the point where it became hereditary rule. So I guess they didn't count those Holy Roman emperors. And we did we have the best leader in the world? Of course not, because we are not the AI at all. There's the Holy Roman Empire once, but ten, really, a ten was our best. Even I can't believe that. But okay. And uh, doo -doo -doo. relations, current wars, these are the wars that are going on. We're not involved in any, I'm pretty sure. Um, really, we're not involved in any Okay. Okay. Trade. Trade nodes. We had the most power, I assume, in Lubeck. But the most total really was in Genoa. Damn. 
the English channel is 104, which is pretty nice. So we had a lot of power on that channel, and we made a lot of money from it. So anyway, economy, income. Uh, I think we did a very, very good. Anyway, let me unpause. Well, let me go back to diplomat map mode. Unpause. And this is the end of the campaign. As you can see, largest army, largest navy, most provinces, most province value, highest trade, highest income, third highest trade income. Um, anyway, as for, you know, ending thoughts or anything, I think my next campaign, someone did suggest to do the, do a campaign in the uh, extended mod, extended timeline mod, which would seem very interesting to do that so it may be in that campaign or like i mentioned in a few episodes ago maybe a netherlands campaign or maybe both as the polish campaign comes to an end of course i'm gonna have to have a campaign that replaces that that play uh or let's do in so i don't know what would be coming soon but hopefully tomorrow will be a series in replace that will be replacing the time slot or the the, the the day I usually upload uh, Austrian diplomacy. Anyway, really like this campaign. Thanks for watching this campaign. Thanks for watching throughout the entire series. I uh, hope you enjoy this episode. Hope you enjoy the entire series. This episode, the outcome of our empire. I forgot to take a screenshot because I am fucking ridiculous. I will do that later on my own time. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for enjoying the series. Hope I see you in the next series. Anyway, let me do my usual outro. Thanks for watching this episode of European Universalis 4, Austrian Diplomacy. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next series.